cancers welcome back to my channel i hope that you're doing well welcome blessed angels and spirits for cancerians those born under the sign of cancer doing a reading today to get to, into your profession what is your profession of choice or the one that is most aligned with your true nature and that will bring you in some money the big box help me to decide cards give me an overall energy card for cancerians professional career what's bringing them the most financial gains right now i hear stability what's making cancerians most financially stable right yeah that feel like it I know Cancerians like their stability, security. So what profession? What profession will bring in stability for Cancers? What are Cancers good at doing? Or what does Cancer want to do? Or what is aligned on Cancer's journey? That is the best, the most suitable option <laughs> the most suitable option to bring in financial stability for Cancerians. Cancerians like luxury, peace of mind, quality, quality of life, quality of life, wish fulfillment, joy, being able to fully express themselves. I find that the Cancerian that settles for mediocrity is those that haven't really, those that have been traumatized really, not realizing their true beauty, worth and power, their glory. Glory. So you deserve to live a wealthy lifestyle. That's what keeps you, it makes like being wealthy art. Lana Del Rey literally just pop up in my mind because most of her videos or music videos are a representation of wealth and she's a Cancerian. And I feel like that's all, especially for females. Like we love traveling, even though we are more grounded. Cancerians are more grounded in the home life. Cancerians love travel, excitement, newness, surprises, gifts. We love all the good stuff, romance. So like we like to get the most romance out of life itself, out of our lives. Is that it? Anything else? Okay, for can Ooh, wee 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 wee. Okay. <laughs> I like that card a lot. Okay. Anything else for Cancerians right now in finance, in career? What are Cancerians really doing? We. What are Cancerians really focusing on that's bringing in that bag? I think you guys are focusing on bringing in money right now, partnering with money, leveling up. I feel like there's a lot of leveling up going on for Cancerians right now. In, even if they're not really talking about it in their maybe in 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 um, the realm of dreams and creativity Cancerians are focusing into like more on a spiritual level how to level up themselves so leveling up is you know getting aligned with your value your value of self self-love Getting to know who you are so that you can really increase your financial income, right? So that means you might want to do some more studying uh, in whatever genre you choose, our area of profession. But it's all about growth and development. Growth and development. That's being guided fully to transform or to help cancers to transcend to where they really need to be standing, right? Yes. 
So it's like uh, you are beneath. Not, oh gosh, it's on. Oh gosh. But it's like there's a podium and you were like trying to be comfortable just living under the podium or living underneath the bridge. Like, why am I getting comfortable living underneath a bridge when the podium is literally yours? So whatever fears you have that's keeping you, telling you this is the life you ought to live, living underneath the podium or underneath the bridge, when the bridge is literally yours to ascend upon. So the angels are here to advise you to say, the bridge is yours, take it, it is yours, ascend upon it, stand here. And then it is from on top of this bridge that you begin to even build more and create more, but you need to be on top of, of your of that bridge, of the podium. You need to stand up there. I'm seeing a crab in the sand. Maybe feeling like, oh, I'm a bottom feeder. Not realizing how creative it is, how artistic, how grounded, how wise, because it is really in connection with earth, with the flow of water, how unique and how much it has to express of itself. And it needs to be like a representation of that ebb and flow and that groundedness, that balance, that stability of being in control of one's emotions, really, one's life. Because Cancerians are, are the crab is a land creature as much as it is a water creature so there's balance in the, the sign of the crab but for the most part sometimes cancerians tend to focus on the the water side you know the emotions the moon the um feeling soft and easily you know swayed by out external external interferences but the universe wants me to say that the podium is yours, rise, like be on top of it. And that is where you should be creating from, not less than that. So maybe some Cancerians need to really step up, express themselves, um, be an inspiration for others. Because um, we're some Cancerians are good at speaking up. We have a lot of experiences. We um, have intuition that is so natural like we cancerians are governed really by the moon and the moon is that which holds it is like a vessel to hold that information of water because remember that water is memory water has information so all cancers carry information from for you know lifetimes and so we Cancerians do have a lot to, to teach, to speak on, to influence others. So step up on that podium. So maybe that's where some people, some of you listening, that's where your wealth will arise from. That is your profession, being on a stage. Maybe you're doing music or you're just speaking. You're just a motivational, you're a beautiful motivational speaker. Yes, I feel that. I feel the power in actually saying that your wealth will come by you recognizing or realizing your your gifts, your true worth, what you have to offer to earth. And then you step up on that and begin to express yourself from that place of knowing who you are and what you have to give. And then when people begin to recognize you, I feel like there's a light shining on you. And people are seeing you. And that's like when you're in your glory. And it's like you're beaming from inside out. As if that is when you're really in your power. It feels like conquering anxiety or facing or embracing fears and that is when you're in your power the most. When you step up and face your fears, speak out, do the things that make you more, the most fearful in life. And that makes you glow because remember that when you're anxious, blood is rushing to your heart, you're blushing, you know, your, your face is flushing red. 
and so maybe that is the glow that I'm seeing but you're also smiling you're also really engaging those that are listening to you you have their attention and so you're just taking it a step at a time being beautiful speaking out being grounded helping people to overcome feelings of doubt because maybe you have been there before you know you've been to that place where you worked on your self-love and now you are here the ten of cups wish fulfillment you know all of that is yours today all right let's take one more card i like um using playing cards i do i feel it in my spirit give me a card give me one last card the most important one no for cancerians in their career their profession and what is like bringing them in riches wealth abundance glory prosperity okay awesome so this is a very important card so i was saying that cancerians are intuitives so maybe this is how you're really leading with your intuition right because cancerians are as i was saying innately gifted with information power of intuition of creativity fertility and i'm seeing the way how have you ever watched a video like a documentary showing how showing the different designs that crabs actually make in the sand i'm seeing crabs making designs in the sand you know they just move in the sand and it's like art it feels like cancerians could have designed egypt where the pyramids are it feels like that like playing playing and this feels i this card feels like working with your hands the five for me feels like hands it feels like you're just in the stage of working so the six would be actually have created or manifested what you have been working on say you're building a chair but the chair hasn't really like the finished product is in your mind and you're you're in the stage of carving it into being you understand so this is what the five and is for me at that point of carving something into being so just like the five of cups or five of hearts it's more working on that self-love you know the four would feel like having that desire for greater attention to self or to love right and then the five would be you actually taking the steps to love yourself more, drinking more water, waking up earlier, going out in the sun, reading more, having beautiful conversations, um, listening to those that are inspiring to you. Um, you know, anything that feels like you're actually carving that self-love into you, one that cannot be taken from you. It's like you're carving. So this is what the five represents to me, physical work. okay so cancerians are innately creative i'm still seeing that crab in the sand just busily doing its thing i don't even think it's it has a plan it's just moving and it just by it moving it's creating art um so this is so it's innate it's something that cancerians do and art could be a way of speaking it music i feel music strongly i feel music strongly so maybe some of you are professional musicians making that money and spreading love and joy okay i haven't touched the, the tarot cards yet but we're getting there i started reading with playing cards first before i got my tarot all right so this i feel like you are the crab here this king feels like a king crab <laughs> Yeah, man, the king here feel like a king crab that's focusing. You know, like when the crab is down there in the sand working, it's not really. It's like just in, it's just in its zone, 
moving about in the sand whatever it its intention is i don't know if it is intending on creating art but art is just happening by its movement so you're the king crab in your zone you know focused on what your nature is just being present to to your innate abilities to move to create um so you're really in a zone of focus right now focusing on creating you know mastering evolution you know and remaining in your purpose because you're being you're guided you know you're being like there's something holding you like uh it could be a virtue it could be the reason that you do what you do is almost like it's a star that is aligned in you so maybe this is your constellation like the backing of your purpose that is holding you up that is keeping you moving and creating so you're focusing on creating maybe you work with your hands cancer and i feel a writer here so i'm feeling a lot of music you know music causes people to want to move to dance just like the crab that's what it does in the stand and um so i feel like if you're not if you're not writing music or doing music on your laptop or playing using your hands playing the guitar um it feels like you're digging into yourself to come up with the play on words that will best reach a particular audience that you are speaking with. So, hmm. please be, please note that this reading is a very essential and powerful reading right now. Cancerians are unique. Sometimes we um, want to do what others are doing because our, our purpose or our, just our style is so different and out of ordinary that we wonder if it is the right thing to do. Right? But look at how this is aligning. You focusing on creating I think that this literally is your career. What is this? I'm going to clarify this. This thing that this is what you're doing actively with your hands or voice, because this is also the fifth chakra, the throat chakra, right? What you, how you express yourself creatively. This is creativity, fertility, how like spreading, what are you giving? So I feel like maybe you're using your, it comes down to, I feel music very strong. So I might be feeling the presence of a musician, right? So you're focusing. And being in your king state of creating, this is your career, using your hand, you're writing, you're speaking. You're influencing people. Your who is like your. It feels like magic is coming out of you. Like um. Oh gosh, Mega actually said it. it feels like you're speaking and then like blooming flowers are coming out of your mouth. Like ah. <laughs> it literally feels like what you're expressing is when they come out of your mouth is like they're blooming. They're beautiful. It's like a beautiful creation coming forth from you. Oh my gosh. You might be a beautiful singer. All right. And that is what's bringing you in here. Oh my, maybe I'm channeling something from Lana Del Rey. I did mention her earlier. Right. And then just you being in your power because remember King Crab is in his power, focusing on everyday working because you like, you like, to, it's not like you want to just get rich and sit down, which would be cool. But there's a creative essence in you that keeps you working. It keeps you in your purpose. So even if you're retired, you probably find yourself writing books, you know, doing something that is creative, working in your garden, whatever. So you have to consist, you have to just be creative. That's who you are. So the more you live true to yourself, it brings you into this 
ten of cups moment wish fulfillment family life like the ideal family or the ideal prosperity that you've been looking for is here it is yours to have um, celebration joy abundance in love in family life um, not just your own family but not just a family of your own that you've made but the family that you are brought up in your extended family your spouse's family like there's a lot of togetherness there's um you being happy you're not worried about what your spouse's family is doing or you know mother-in-law loves you it's just awesome people look up to you your home life is beautiful your children are happy you are abundantly blessed you're not low on money here again is telling me that you're not low on anything that has to do with finances because you've brought value into the life of your family your family is highly valuable right so because you're working on like being of value in yourself so that is like you're not seeing yourself as less you're not underneath that bridge underneath that podium anymore you've risen and claimed who you are so you're it's almost like they said um in spiritual awakening before chop wood carry water and after chop wood carry water so it is something that is innate in you but when you realize that okay i've been doing this thing but now i'm realizing that it is my true nature it is my power it's like you do it still creating writing whatever comes natural to you so i feel like some it has to be natural like something that you might have been doing since you were a child you could have been an artist drawing or a chef cooking you could have just something that you've always loved to do that's what's bringing in your your grace your checks this feels like a check this also feels like a a big old check that just checks just keep coming to you like new money right so yeah it's something that you've been always that you've always been doing it's innate in you i live right next to the road that's why one day I go move in a one cottage somewhere out in the forest. All right. <laughs> so sorry about all of the interruption. Okay, Cancerians. All righty. So it's a beautiful reading. So all right. So chop wood, carry water. Before that's what you were doing, but once you realize, so once you're now doing it from a place of higher perspective, where it's like more of a self love gratitude self-appreciation thing like oh my god this is what i've been doing all my life it's so beautiful like appreciating your uh, your arts your craft nurturing your gift focusing on developing yourself maybe going back to school um learning from mentors whatever you're doing learning how to speak efficiently and effectively so that people can hear you more because you love to speak that's what you're doing it's bringing in joy to you and this joy is like aligning you with value to your wealth because you're, you, you're now focusing on what's true to you, it's like aligns you with a sense of value. And once you have that sense of value in yourself, it brings wealth. Because when you have value, it makes you want the best for yourself. Right? So raise up your value. Want more for yourself. Love yourself. Appreciate yourself. Want to give yourself the best. Right? Want, want to give to others as well. That's a very important for you to want to see so much value in your work that you think it will bless other people. So that's when you start to share who you are courageously. All right. So the value that's coming into you will bring you a lot of wealth. I, I think I've been clear and repetitive um, also that angels are guiding you. This is an angel card for me. It feels like wings. It feels like wings floating into you. Like I said, it feels like this, this is the thing that is keeping you feeling in your purpose. It is reminding you to, to, that, this, that this is you. It is reminding you of your intuition, your purposefulness, your joy, your bliss. It is saying keep going. It's like constantly fluttering. It could be just that spark of inspiration just always around you 
around you, that's fluttering inside of you. It keeps reminding you of your purpose. Okay, so if you're here at this point, because I know this reading is a bit unusual in tarot, um, I'm going to pull some tarot cards. I hope you're still here and actually getting the messages. All right, so let's do it. <sighs> Please give me some messages for Cancer's professional career from the tarot cards and what's bringing them in financial abundance, wealth. Thank you. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. Any other messages for Cancer in career? <laughs> Queen of Swords. Any other messages? Cancer's career, profession that's bringing in plenty of wealth, plenty of wealth, satisfaction, happiness, joy. I'll shuffle three more times, please. The strongest, most ooh, powerful pentacles <laughs> messages for cancers at this time that's bringing in their financial abundance, their career, which is cancerian's profession spirit. Please guide me with the cards. Please give me the most, share with me the most powerful cards to interpret cancerian's career. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, Queen of Cups. Are you seeing this? Thank you. Cancerian's Fair. Give me the most powerful cards that points out the, like exactly Cancerian's career at this point. Thank you. One more shuffle after this. So we got this first and this this and this okay <laughs> last shuffle for cancer's professional career that's actually um elevating their wealth their bank accounts home life stability what is cancer working on this cancer really really working on right now thank you all right thank you i feel like i need to do this and then do this. Okay. All right, so we have the Queen of Pentacles. So she's a career woman, independent. She's very fertile. She has her virtues intact. She's focused on her goals she's grounded in herself she knows her worth her values so it's like i was saying chop wood care water before you were just doing something plainly but when you elevate your consciousness to see your worth which is what she's seeing her worth her values she embraced and accepts it she don't feel like she's not worthy of it she feels very worthy like from inside that is why she attracts such abundance and glory around her. Pause. Cancer, I did pause and shuffle a bit more off camera. Oh gosh, that's not going to happen. Off camera. So now we're back. All right, so this is a very exquisite reading there are three queens on the table here queen of pentacles she loves her money she's wise sensible she, she's grounded she is in control of her life she's she works hard she knows how to put in work effectively efficiently so that her money flows to her right so she's a worker 
um, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Feels like being grounded and stable in oneself. Not at the King of Pentacles self, but on that journey to becoming the King of Pentacles. Keeping focus on one's value. No one, what, what one is producing into this world and growing more. Always just growing, evolving, creating, stronging up. Like always moving into, into one's power. So it is aligned with the Queen of Pentacles because she's a worker. She's always moving, looking at new ways to create opportunities for wealth and to increase her sense of value and worth. The Queen of Swords feels like she's guardian. She's ruler of her kingdom. She's sitting pretty. I feel she's influenced by the Cancerian energy because there's a lot of blue in her expressions here. So I feel like she's more grounded and solid in her, in her expressions, knowing what to cut off, what to let in, because sometimes cancer and sometimes if um, you're not really like, if you haven't really worked on yourself spiritually to heal, you sometimes just let in anything, you know, anything comes in. But this queen is sitting on her kingdom right now. She knows she's grounded, knowing who she is. Ruling, I feel like people come to this queen for assistance, for help, for guidance, for to strong up. Something about sh this queen helping people to feel more solid and grounded. So people seek out this queen for her guidance, her wisdom. Okay. Things uh, that are natural to her nature. We have the queen of cups here. This queen naturally flows. I feel like her abundance is abundant, <laughs> unending, very powerful, as if she can just sit at the top of the stream or a river, and then that is how her she gets transferred into the world, just by being in the flow. Like the universe takes her essence and takes it where it needs to go like she's just at the top of the river being beautiful just in her essence so that means like she's just literally in her own essence and it's flowing from her inspiring others um she's a mother signed nurturing she's a caregiver she's fortunate she's abundantly blessed she is in her power knowing her worth and her value she has charm about her Children might like to be around you. So you might be someone that works with children as well. So it might be children that you're working with here that's coming to you for some kind of a guidance, a nurturing kind of uplifting guidance, not something that they will flock to you for continuously, but just for stability. Then I have this seven of pentacles feeling like groundedness once more, working, putting your hand in the dirt and seeing the fruitfulness, just looking at the art that you have created, contemplating, being patient, um, trusting in yourself, being absorbed in nature. These are the things that are important to a Cancerian. So I want to say this is a very profound reading. I don't know if I'm stating that enough here. Creating, just moving, focusing on what you're creating. Some of you could be dancers. So to end the reading, reading, I'm going to give you a list of the career that I see in this reading. I see a dancer, one that just is moving, creating through art. I feel like it's just the way you move. Even if you're a writer or you're a musician, it's just something that comes, just flows from you. Like with the Queen of Cups, it literally, naturally just flows out of you. It's like, imagine a dancer that's just flowing or a writer or a musician that just flows. It is something that is in your essence. I keep repeating myself. So it could be a, a dancer, a writer of music, a creative writer, one that, you know, poet, a producer of music. A teacher, maybe you teach children, a spiritual guru, because you're so in tune with your natural essence, your, your intuition, information of the world. As I said, water holds information. So you could be one that knows a lot about life and is 
teaching that to others. You could be a healer, a spiritual guru, a wise person. I feel like looking at the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, the Kings on the board, the Tens, the Aces, I feel like I also shuffled and got this Ace of Pentacles, which is innate value in self. Okay, so you know your worth. Um, but you came to, to do a nurturing job to help others to step into their power, to release baggages, to feel freer, to be happy. That's how you are moving. You could be a magician, in a sense, like an alchemist. So it's like you could be teaching people how to move into their higher natures. Uh, somebody who is balanced, a mentor. So it's all of that. Anything that has to do with art and creativity could be you. So I'm hearing that you need to really focus on these gifts. Appreciate your natural gifts because it takes you into your true power. Once you recognize or realize who you are and give that value, that validation to yourself, what you bring to earth, you know, you will be rewarded for it greatly. Thank you so much for listening. I hope that this reading resonated with you, beautiful, creative um, Cancerians out here. Thank you for joining me. All right, so if you actually like this video and the message resonated with you, do subscribe to my channel for more video uploads. And until next time, take care of yourself. Much love to you.